Composer? Dumkop! Who was you expecting, maybe? Padorovsky? Every time I come back to finish my symphony, I'm interrupted! so you can finish your symphony. Ah, now that the silence is more quiet, I start to commence again. He's on crackers. Somebody stop that racket before my head blows off the top of my noodle.
retrieve. Uh, uh, what means retrieve? You dumb mutt, bring back the duck. A fish? You dope. I ought to send you to the dog pound. My gun! Here, boys! in college? My dear fellow, I did not go to college to play football. Fido Beta Kappa and Summa Cum Laude. What's that? That means with highest honors. All right, big brain. I got a simple test for you. Retrieve this stick. Why, your stick is obsolete. Try mine, modern and scientific. Okay, Smarty. Retrieve it. Well, retrieve it. Your stick is retrieved. Now, let's see what you've learned about being a watchdog. Sir, they do not call me Martin Canine for naught. If anything is stolen, I'll hold you responsible. Martin. Canine. Ah, just as I thought. Now to teach that smart aleck a lesson. You were clever, Rapples. But not clever enough for Scotland Yard. And now, sir, I shall give you a lesson in duck hunting. Bah! You can't hunt in this heavy fog. Ah, but in college, I've learned scientific methods. This tuning fork vibrates to the air disturbances created by ducks in flight. Observe the vibrations. They indicate a flock of ducks three miles away. They are now directly overhead. Shoot now! Ah, you and your education. According to meteorological statistics, each year, 408 people are killed by lightning. We'd better hurry home, sir. Hey, why, 
nice guy. Trying to kill yourself? Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. Beat it! He hasn't been wrong yet. Lightning struck twice in the same place. Hmm. I shall speak to my professor about that. Fried eggs better than nothing. <laughs> Fried chicken, after all. Oh, please, sir. You wouldn't eat poor little defenseless me, would you? goes for this phony wine. <laughs> oh my, what a great big juicy worm. All for little me. Now, for 
over there is a nice big fat chicken. Now that's a chicken. to protect myself, you know. size of bugs, we could invade the insect world. Uh, great. All we need is some of the witch's magic pills. Just leave this to me. Oh, Casper, if you can get me some magic reducing pills, I'll stay home and try to lose this fat. Why, sure, Fatso. Here you are, Fatso. <laughs> Be careful. The witches said it was strong stuff. I'll go finish my book. Magic reducing pills. Good for only a few hours. Okay, Fatso, take a pill and see what happens. <laughs> Perfect. Now for us. Little friend, come and get it. what you wanted the reducing pills for. Sure, and now we're off for a scare scoop in a new wild. What new world? The insect wild. Your book gave us the idea, and the pills you got did the rest. I hope they didn't finish all those pills. Lucky they left a few. <laughs> now to find those meanies and see if I can reason with them. I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> it's only a tomato can. I wonder which way they went. Oops. Shucks. I spilled a buttercup. Help! Help! Uh-oh! Help! Ghost! Only mean ghosts could make a snail go at that pace. <laughs> a ghost! What does call you? Sayonara! Ha! <laughs> a Japanese beetle! <laughs> to see what I can do to stop them. Oops! Hey, a ghost! Please, Mr. Ant, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Friendly ghost? Ha! Huh. Well, we certainly can't say that about the others. I know, fellas, and I'm here to try and stop them. Gosh, we hope you can. Then you'll have nothing to fear. Nothing but the will of the wisp. The will of the wisp? Yeah, he's fearful to look at. Can you tell me where to find him? He lives in the moon marsh, Casper. But remember, he's real scary. Thanks, fellas. I'll try not to be too scared. Moon marsh. If I want to stop the ghostly trio, I'll need someone who's scarier than they are. Mr. Will of the West. Who dares to awaken me at this unearthly time? Gosh, he must be asleep in that old log. Excuse me, Mr. Will-o'-the-Wisp, but I have a very important matter to discuss with you. Come in, come in. Golly, Mr. Will-o'-the-Wisp, I had no idea you'd look as you do. <laughs> well, what did you expect me to look like? A ghost? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you see, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. But just listen to this. <laughs> Why, I'm supposed to be the scary one in the insect world. <laughs> there they go now, and it's time to put my plan into motion. Say, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Who said that? A friend of Will-o'-the-Wisp. Will-o'-the-Wisp? Who's he? Let him show his face. Sorry, 
He only shows his face at Moon Marsh. Well, let's find him. Will and the Wisp, we're waiting for you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What's that? <laughs> I am Will of the Wisp. Let's grab him. I'll do more than let you get your hands on me. I'll get the real chummy, see? Get him out of me, fellas. Okay, fatso, just hold still. <laughs> now he's in me. <laughs> now he's in me. <laughs> he's here again. <laughs> We're back to normal size. And so am I. Shucks. Did he make us look like fools? Yeah. We were punching ourselves silly. I better get back before they do. Well, I see you boys decided to grow up after all. And uh, by the way, how was Insect Land? You and your books. <laughs> find a friend. Scat, go on, beat it! Black cats are, are bad luck! Gee, he said black cats are bad luck. Throw it over your shoulder. 
shoulder and you'll have good luck. Now go get the lucky horseshoe. Oh boy, rabbit tracks. If you rub yourself with a rabbit's foot, you'll really be lucky.
It's murder, I tell you! It's murder! <laughs> Okay, boys, let her go. Hey, buddy, got a light? Thanks, Dad. It couldn't be. Things. I gotta relax. My knives are getting me. And the majestic splendor of Niagara Falls is truly an amazing sight to behold. like a mouse, Doc. <clears throat> Young man, you are a victim of mousetrophobia. Mousetrophobia? Correct. You, you, you mean I'm going nuts, Doc? I ain't got all my marbles? Precisely. Oh, save me, Doc! Save me! Well, you can return to normal by making amends to those poor little mice you've treated so shamefully. I'll do it! I'll do anything! Confucius, eh? There is more than one way to skin cat! Come on, Lemon! Rock it and roll it! Baba ba bee boo Hey, Catnip, how about some more track? Okay, fellas. More track coming up. Huh? I think I smell a mouse. Uh oh! <laughs> Try to drive me goofy, huh? <laughs> like Confucius, eh? That cat's real gone. I 
wish it would never, never, never rain again.
look at the size of those snowflakes. Come on out, Casper. The winter air will make you feel good. Good and bad, I hope. I'll fly along with them. I hate spending a winter day all alone. It sure is cold. Boy, it's snowing harder than ever. I can hardly see where I'm flying. <laughs> I'm all covered with snow and ice. Help, I'm falling. Me too. It never snowed like this before. I give up. Let's go home and thaw out. I better ask old Saul to turn on more heat before everything is frozen solid. That's funny. I'm closer to the sun, but it's still so cold I'm turning blue. Oh, hello, Casper. Gosh, Saul, what's wrong? Why aren't you giving off any heat? I'm sorry, Casper, but some little rascals in a spaceship stole my heat generator. Golly, that's awful. And I'm so cold, I couldn't even look for them. I may be able to drum up a bit of heat for you, Casper. <coughs> ah, I'm feeling like my old self again. I've about had it, Casper. You better find them fast. Don't worry, Saul. I'll bring back your generator. Gosh, there goes the spaceship. Hey, wait! Full speed ahead! We're being followed! You've got to listen to me. Yike! Here comes that guy again. Lucky we're almost home. Wait, I want to talk to you. Who are you, anyway? I'm from Earth. I came to get the heat generator you took from the sun. Oh, yeah? Well, it's ours now, sonny boy. But it doesn't belong to you. Who's going to stop us? You? Take that. You can't hurt a ghost with that ray gun. Sephirin Snowballs, quick! Get the ship inside the Ice Palace! Wait, can't we be friends? Who wants to be friends with a ghost? I've got to get that generator back. Ooh, this place is like an ice box. Here's the heat generator, King Cool. Good. Now we can keep our planet nice and warm. Just a minute. You can't take what doesn't belong to you. It's the space book again. That generator belongs to old Saul, a son. Scram, Spook. I'm keeping it here in my ice palace, see? Well, I'm not leaving without it. This will cool you off. That ice water froze so fast, I can't move. Take him up and toss him out the window. That'll get rid of him. Yes, King Cool. That's the end of you, Spook. God, I'm so cold, I can't use my ghostly powers to get free. What a break. The friction of that slide melted the ice. I've got to make King Cool give back that generator, or Earth will be frozen. Come on, fellas. I must have that generator. It's that Earth Spook again. Well? Spook, you're going in deep freeze. Lock him up in the ice caverns. Maybe I'll think of some way to convince them while in there. You know, this isn't being very friendly. This place is colder than the ice palace. I wonder where this cave goes. Uh-oh, I'm all covered with coal dust. Golly, the walls here are all cold. Hmm, those stones I kicked struck sparks. If I make a big enough fire in this cave of coal, it might be able to heat up the whole planet. Gee, this place is getting red hot. I wonder if this heat is getting up to the ice palace. Thank goodness I got rid of that coal dust. Hey, the spook has escaped from the ice cavern. Wait, King Cool. I found a way to heat your planet. Gosh, he's right. It is warm and cozy all of a sudden. Now that you have your own heating system, will you return the generator to the sun? Of course, Casper. My people will take it back on the spaceship for you. Goodbye, King Cool. I'm glad to have made such warm friends. Goodbye, Casper. Thanks for your help. 
Thanks to you, Casper, I can rise and shine again. Ah, <sighs> that sunshine feels real good.
we go. Till we reach the top! Oh my gosh! <laughs> my favorite dish, Mulligan Mouse Stew.
guys doing out here in the snow? It's that catnip, Raymond. Yeah, he chased us out again. Oh, he did, eh? Catnip, I don't know what I would do around here without you. Just leave everything to Cousin Hyman. You watch the house while I'm shopping, Catnip, and I'll bring you a nice present. are on Cousin Hyman, fellas. tough on my chums, pal. And one of these days, they're gonna pack up and walk out on you, and you'll be out of work, too. Oh, no! Wait a minute, fellas. I'll do anything if you just stay. I'll give you the run of the house. You think we ought to give them another chance, boys? Gee, thanks, fellas. around here and stay out. <laughs> <laughs> 